Bitcoin apparently is rallying this morning, but cryptocurrencies and big tech companies are still taking a hit. So what does this mean for the economy going forward? The host of Varney and Company on Fox Business, also the host of American Built on Fox Business. You got He's it. So busy. You got Stuart it. Stuart <laughs> Varney joins us live. Stuart, uh, we've seen the sell off with uh, the big tech like Google and Facebook and Apple and stuff like that. And we've seen the cryptocurrencies ab absolutely yeah. drop through the floor. What happens next? Oh, that's a very good question. For a start, look at the wealth destruction that we've already seen. The cryptos have lost about a trillion dollars. I'm sorry, tell a lie, getting the numbers mixed up. The cryptos have lost two trillion dollars worth of value. Wow. Two trillion down. Big tech stocks, that would be Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they're down about a trillion dollars in value. Mm -hmm. All stocks taken together are down almost two, uh, ten trillion dollars in value. You add it all up, and that is massive wealth destruction. People are getting poorer. America is getting poorer. Now you ask, what about the future? Where are we going with this? I don't think those, uh, the cryptos and big tech and stocks generally are going to come all the way back to where they were. They may come back a little, but they're not going to come all the way back so that that wealth which has been destroyed comes back itself. I don't think so. For a start, you no longer have that wall of money coming into the crypto market and the stock market from the Fed right. and from Congress. And without that wall of money, I don't see how they're going to come all the way back. Sure. Wealth destruction. Well, when you think about what Joe Biden is saying, he's saying, uh, you know, the inflation, you know, it's Putin's war and stuff like that. When Putin's war is resolved, who knows when that's going to be, then you would think that the price of oil would come down, and then you would think by, you know, extrapolation, everything else would c come back down and perhaps the stock market would go back up. Well, eventually, in time, the market will come back, but not any time soon. I just don't see how you can go from where we are now to where we were sure. a year ago anytime soon. I can't see that happening. There's no wall of money coming at the market or yeah. cryptos. Then again, if you have cash, now yes. America's biggest companies are all on sale. What a lot of people do is something called dollar cost averaging. Mm -hmm. That is, regardless of where the market's going up or down, you put the same amount of money into the market every month or every week or out of every paycheck. That's dollar cost averaging. If you're putting money in now, well, prices are down there. They are cheap. Mm -hmm. And the market will at some point come back. And if it's in your 401k, this is pension money. You're right. going to live long enough to see a return in value some way down the road. But again, not anytime soon. It's no longer a 401k. It's more of a 301k. I heard that. Yes, it is. So many all, people. All right. Uh, tonight at 8 o'clock on Fox Business, you're going to highlight a building that I used to live next to here in New York. The Guggenheim. Frank Lloyd Wright's creation. He didn't live to see it, but that was his creation. It's a remarkable building. And we also have the story of the Chicago River. They had to make the river run backwards to get the sewage out of town. So lots of stuff on tonight. American built tonight, 8 p.m., two episodes. Fantastic. We're going to be watching. And, of course, uh, check out Stewart over on Barney and Company. It starts at 9 o'clock Eastern this morning over on Fox Business. Thanks, sir. <laughs>